We are live. Welcome everyone that is is already watching the now. Um, let me find the stream first. Um, yeah, I don't know how easy it is, how easy it's going to be to see these creases. Wait, I need to refresh it. Yeah, there we go. Um, let's. Okay, so we can actually see the. A few of the creases. Um, live chat's on. Welcome everyone. Um, so here we go, another live stream. Thought we'd try and collapse. Start the collapse of this model. Of course it's not going to be a... I'm not going to do the full... I'm not going to do the full collapse on this because it's... Like, it's going to be a nightmare. That's the crease pattern. I mean, look at that. Look at that. How crazy that is. Hactan, you're in France. 8pm for you. Is France an, an hour ahead? Is, yeah, 7pm for me. Yeah, in the UK. Oh yeah, I just, I just read that there. Welcome Sarah, Melissa, Hactan, um, everyone that's just joining. Yeah. So... Try and show it. I'll try and um, hopefully you can see the creases. It's, I mean, to show these really good, you need to have uh, the shadows. So like the lighting. So let me try and show you all. Like hopefully you can see that. I mean, I can see it from the screen that I'm streaming from from my phone. Hopefully you can. You can. I'll turn it around a lot. But yeah, here we go. There's a lot of creases. Yeah, that, that, this wasn't fun to crease, it really wasn't. <laughs> and I, I don't know what really made me decide to, to fold this. Are you able to see these creases? Um, welcome everyone, did you ghost crease? Yes I did, Melissa. Uh, probably the only way to properly crease a, a crease pattern like this. Um, Brian Chan. He used a projector, I'm guessing like had the paper either on the floor, stuck to the wall, the projector uh, made the lines and then maybe, maybe he scored them or made a, like a mark on them with a pen or pencil, um, but then, then made them that way. That's what he did, yep, basically I ghost creased it, marking crease by crease. So um, I made as much as I possibly could. Of course, if you can't tell, the creases uh, go from big to much smaller as they go into the center. I don't have anything. Let me see. To try and show us like how much I've made. Uh, maybe the slinky will be work. No, that's too big. I don't have anything. No, I don't have anything to show the scale. Right. Let me just tear a bit of this paper off. Oops. I just ripped paper there, everyone forgive me. I ripped a piece of paper. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, basically on the crease pattern I have, as best as possible, pre-creased, near enough, everything outside of this circle. Or outside of this bit of paper. So that's as much as I could pre-crease. Um, and then let me try and show the center where it all spirals in together. That's the part where it's going to pop up and then twirl all the way around. If I can, uh, when I get to that part, hopefully it will be easier, than, easier said than done. It must have taken you a long time to make every single crease. Yeah, it did. It took a while. A few weeks, to say the least. Um, it's like an on and off project. These types of crease patterns uh, and pre-creasing, I tend to do a bit at a time, at a day, and go from there. Because I don't want to rush it, um, screw up any creases. So yeah, I've made as much as I possibly could. Yes, yeah, it's, it's easier to see them on this side. This will be the white side, um, even though it's shiny. 
not be the right side. What do you think of this paper as well? I'll be selling this on my store soon, making quite a lot of them. Yeah, I mean, that's the centre. And then the crease pattern, the crease... Oh, I need a wee tool. In fact, here's one right here. The creases don't intersect in the centre of the crease pattern. They keep spiralling round and round and round. But of course, you need to make them intersect on this. Otherwise, you'd never, you'd never be able to go that small unless the crease pattern was printed huge. But no, that wouldn't work. Anyway, um, I swear that I need to comment. Yeah, I go screech you about that. What happened to Tadashi Mori? Um, I think he took over his dad's company. He posted a comment on his recent video a while ago, basically saying he took over his dad's company. He didn't have time for YouTube in a way. And I think he lost monetization. Uh, so he just didn't really have the time or sort of moved on, but yeah. He's been busy recently. But yeah, that's it. Um, that looks complicated, that does. Yeah. And the claps, do, the claps looks fine. Once to get closer to the center, that will be a bit more complex. Because it, it gets smaller and then that's where sort of mush folding comes into place. <laughs> it looks terrible, you should try, you should really try harder. I will, I will try better next time. But yeah, I tried to make a sort of greenish, a triage of green for this model. Hopefully the paper suits as well. So, but anyway, further ado, I think we should, we shall try to collapse this. I must go. All right, thank you for joining Camden. And Melissa, thank you for joining as well. Even though you never saw the, the start of the collapse, but yeah, so originally I planned to collapse each molecule, then make the sinks, crease them, then unfold, and then do that for all of them. But I realised that that would be a nightmare for smaller ones, so it'd be much easier to collapse them one by one, get the full base, and then crease. So yeah, it's going to be quite tricky. So I'll start off with the one I did as a test. So how is everyone doing? Are you all joining the new Origami USA Fold Fest event? Brand new event coming up in the next few days. Uh, the stream will be maybe over an hour. Yeah, probably around about an hour. I have a few things to do after this as well. Would you ever sell any of your models? I would definitely sell, but you need permission for that from the designers, unless it's your own design, which I don't have any, but yeah, I th that would be something I would definitely do if I felt like this, uh, selling them, but I'd rather sell paper than models because I can make the paper, I can sell that, I can't design, so I can't sell anything, um, that's not mine. So yeah, it will be much easier to, let me try and zoom in. It will be much easier to collapse this when the first few are collapsed, because you need to sort of bring them in to push this point up. Yeah, it took a good 10 minutes to do this for the test. But once I have one done, I'll peg it and move on to the next one. Man screen. Yes, look, I ghost crease this. I mean, it's, I don't think there's any references to, to, um, Crease that. Where is your cat? He is, Looper is sleeping I think. Penny is out. I've got two cats by the way, if you, if you never knew. 
Love put on penny. Right with that, I'll need to concentrate to get this first one done. Give me a few minutes to try. It'll be much easier when this one's done. It'll be much easier. Hopefully, in the hour, I can get a few of these done. See, so starting to form the point. I mean, this model's going to take a lot of work to try and get right. I don't remember the last time I streamed. It's been quite a while. I've never fo I folded never a Rio Jean 3.5, but I would like. Well, oh, definitely make it your goal. I mean, I think I speak on behalf of every folder of that they would love to make one at some point. So, so just keep practicing. Wait, there, let's bring this back a wee bit. I think I was out of frame there. But yeah, just keep practicing. That's the best thing you can do. Practice each part, you'll get more com yeah, more comfortable, more confident in it, and it should be easier that way. So slowly come together. You just reported a hater. Oh, did I miss a hater? I don't have the right paper to make complex origami. Yeah, that's. It's, it's a big topic to cover. Yeah, it just it depends entirely what you're making. Um, if you need thick paper, if you need thin paper. I mean, it just depends. There's no right or wrong paper, but there's paper that will suit models better than others. I need these tweezers. So I'm nearly, nearly, nearly having to have one collapsed. Oh, that person, um, I, I think they were joking. I'm pretty sure they were, unless I interpreted it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a joke. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that was a hater. Let me just see where we are at. So yeah, we need to do like this again, like 50 times maybe. And each time they get smaller, well, not necessarily, the ones on the outside will get bigger. Uh, we'll do all the big ones first. And then it'll be easier to collapse the small ones. Now this is where I want to decide where to peg it. Let's just push these up first. Oh god, I'm way off. I'm way off um, screen there. I'm, st I'm still zoomed in. Ho hopefully you can see this all right. So in essence, that's like one molecule. What you would then do is, once I have near enough the base, where's the lead? Where'd I put that tool? Oh, there we go. You would, I already have on this one just as a test, you would make um, valley, mountain, valley, mountain, valley, mountain, and then sink them. And then if you look at Brian Chan's actual fold, you'll notice he has little extra edges on these parts, which is what he did. I'm pretty sure he did. And that's, what we're, that's what we're going to do with this one. So that is one. And these creases aren't completely straight. So the angle, this is like this. The one here is like that. And then turns, so it basically creates a 
curve, even though they sort of look straight, they're not. You're curious to what it will look like, Robert. Um, I mean, uh, check Brian Chan's fold, or, or um, wait for the surprise of mine whenever I get to it. But I, I'm going to assume it'll take a few weeks on and off folding. But you're probably quicker to check Brian Chan's design and fold of of this model of his. But you can all support him in the description. The links to his website and his Instagram pages are in there as well. Make sure to go follow him. Fantastic folder and designer. You shouldn't all you should all know who, who he is by now. So I think I can peg it right here. Let me try peg this first. I want to see if it I think it'll be too heavy. Like the peg will add too much weight. Maybe there. All right, por uh, Porygons, thank you for joining. All right, I'll see you on Discord. Yeah, um, you make it one day. Mine is not perfect, believe. I think that the Ancient Dragon is very hard for me at the moment. Yeah, definitely. I mean, as it is a, as a pretty complex model, it just depends uh, your confidence really on how you go about collapsing it. Right, first of all, let me find out which orientation this I'm holding the crease pattern so I can figure out where I am. Wait, is this the flipped version? Yeah, they, they're curving around this way. They're going the other way. That's the flip one. Oh, actually, I lost that way away. No, I think I used the, the other one for... Yeah, that. Uh, not a picture. I should need it anyway. I mean, everything's already uh, creased. Er everything's already reversed. And so let me use this and actually just check this side. I can mirror. Yeah, so it's definitely flipped. Maybe that's that way. Yeah, because we have the angle here. This we crease here and then here. So what side would, would be bigger? So I've basically collapsed this one right here. Um now let me look at the crease pattern. I think I'll just go with this one. Yeah, let's try this one. Let's try this one. So let's see if I can do this on a stream. Um, this is going to be quite tricky. Let's try and put it in the right position first. I need to extend this down. And push that in. I'm so curious to see how this is going to turn out. And I don't know why I decided to make this as well. Because ever since he posted the crease pattern not too long ago, I thought that's absolutely perfect to go crease. So why not let's do it? Even though I've got a ton of models to make, I decided to skip all those to do this. But this will be like an on and off project. I mean, I'll do a bit of this a day while I work on the other ones. So 
So I'm, I, I'm not going to invest a lot of time right away in this. I think I will just go for the right side first. If I extend the crease up. Oh yeah, there's, a, there's one here as well. Okay. Yeah, th this is going to be one of those these models where everything comes together at the, the last minute. Yeah, actually, let me do this one as well. Oh, was, it, was that down here? Oh God, let me zoom out actually. There we go, back to normal. Can I zoom it further? No, it doesn't let me. It doesn't switch to the other cameras on the iPhone. Well, this is gonna be so satisfying to collapse it um, anyway. Oh, how many people in the world knows that origami is, a, is that kind of thing? I think a lot of people will know. That's extremely popular. A unique type of art. This valley fold right there. Okay, this is going to be a real challenge to get all collapsed. How TF do you pre crease that though? Pardon me, um, ghost creasing. A method I came up with a few years ago. You basically print the crease pattern. Um, well, what I do is I'd split this into nine parts, so thirds, and then print off each one this size, and then stick together, put it onto the sheet, and then score all the creases, and then peel off, and then make all the creases by hand. And then you have this. And it's the perfect method to crease crease patterns like that, like this that don't have references or, or you want to try and keep as clean as possible. So it's it's super handy and works extremely well when you do it right. Well, thank you for joining um, Non-Existent Man and have a good sleep. If I can do this one as well, then I can collapse this part. Yeah, I'll just extend this actually over. Let me see, where's the creases? Also, this is going to really uh, shrink down as well in size. Like the uh, like, uh, Lion's Cactus. Massive sheet to something that can fit in your hand. And this is using like 70 centimetres. So. Yeah, it's going to be one of these models where the angles need to be right. Everyone has to come together. It's going to be annoying.
Let me see what it looks like on the other side. Okay, wow. Um, that. It will look much more impressive when we've put in more creases. Then this is where you can, of course, adjust and correct if needed. But yeah, that's like... How cool is that? How cool is that? Slow but precise moves, definitely. That's, that's what this needs. Though I'll be going like a turtle for the entire thing. So it's going to take some time. Oh yeah, I need to make this first. So we have this side collapsed. Try and make this one first. Near enough. Get this part done. Pick something easier to stream. <laughs> so that's fine. Yeah, I need to get the other side fully done before I can flatten it. So let's try this other side. The only side that's stopping me from doing this. The good thing is, the more we put of these in place on the outside, the easier it will be to collapse the inside. It's so much easier. It's always the initial creases. To put into place is the hardest part. Where's the crease? Oh, here's here. I have a look at this and although I understand the individual molecules, the sheer number bent my brain. This goes on the brown but possibly not worth the pain category, definitely. And it's it's impressive as well, it's extremely impressive the model. I mean, these types of models really pique my interest, hence why I'm doing it right now. Or, yeah, basically starting, starting it. But yeah, each to their own, I mean, this is a lot of work. And people, that the amount of work, um, if you can figure that out from looking at it, um, tends to put people off making it or not. But it just depends, every folder is different. It appeals to people, it doesn't. But Brian, um, I don't think he pre creased the sinks, I did on mine. Um, either or, I just did, I, I wanted to crease all of it beforehand. If you check the picture of his base, he doesn't have the creases made. So we have formed the point on number two. Well, thank you for joining those that have left and welcome to everyone that is new. We have collapsing molecule number two of, I don't know how many, loads. Way too many. 
Oh yeah, let's finish off this one first before I start that one. I, I'll be streaming for an hour at the most, so half an hour left. Let's see what we can do in half an hour. I just need to bring this triple layers together. And I'm just double checking to make sure we have everything in place. I, mean, I just need to push up this viewpoint, so let's take this. This wee part here. Right, tweezers will come in handy for this part. This one collapsed. Yeah, Javis, don't uh, spam. I don't want to remove you from the chat, please. I mean, it's all coming up hidden, so just, uh, just a little warning, okay? If you can hear me. Imagine someone saying this is super easy. Guys, th this is super easy. It's not. Yeah, it's one of those annoying ones. I mean, it's an, uh, was it? an easy torture. That's what it is. If you, if you really want to torture yourself, do this. Stop watching the stream, do this. There you go. If you feel good, do this. They are number two. Number two collapsed. Let's peg this. Um, yeah, let's try to do this one. Outside one, that should be easier. Hopefully I've not jinxed myself. Lion's Cactus is in my list to do if repetitive, but all the same. It's the reduction in size that frightens me. Yeah, definitely, Nick. Um, I used one meter for mine, and if you've seen my fold, you can tell how small uh, the spines get. But yeah, I would one meter. I wouldn't recommend any smaller. And it's definitely repetitive. The pre-creasing isn't actually necessary, but again, it helps. It really helps at when you collapse because when you have the model. Like, just say this is the cactus and you have the paper like this and then you need to make these creases to try and help it lie flat. It would seem easier to make them when the paper's flat than try to make them all now. And I mean, the folding sequence will make the creases, but I just want it to be as precise as possible. So that's why I pre-creased. But it's entirely up to you. I would definitely re recommend pre-creasing them. And I've still got uh, the cactus uh, wrapped with wire ever since I made it to hold the shape much better. Should I unfold it on stream? Should I do that? Why not? You brought it to my attention.
good thing about this one is it's right at the edge of the paper, so there isn't much collapsing happening here. It's much easier. So I think I can peg this one already. Oh, pardon me. Um, let me see. Yeah, I think I can peg it right here. Then let me just double check. Yeah, let's peg this right here. Number three done. If I can peg it, okay. Um, let me see. Where can I peg this? I may need two pegs. Yeah, I'll go with two. No, in fact, I, I don't think I'll need two. I, mean, I can't peg both of them together. Oh, wait, I could. I'll do that, actually. Let me try that. Then that will hold the pressure even better, making it easier to collapse this part. Um, wait, I need to, um... Oh, I forgot to send. Um... Love the perfection. Oh, thank you, Duong. Um, yeah. Never take shortcuts. That is, that, that is what it is. Never take shortcuts. You take shortcuts, bad fold. I don't like taking shortcuts. If I peg it here, it will be much better. Yeah, let's try this. So we have three collapsed. I'm going to peg this one to this one, which will create so much pressure right here, which I can pop out, use my handy little tool, and uh, put in place. I mean, it's, it all works in my head. Like chess, I'm, I'm looking ahead, and it seems to work. So I don't think I'll, yeah, I'll put on uh, this side. So let's see where I am first. Where's this valley fold gone? Um, mountain fold, where is the mountain fold? Okay, the other thing I thought of was doing the main radical creases first to get the backbones, then the individual molecules would be partially collapsed. Does that make sense? Yeah, definitely. Wait for the cac uh, for the cactus. Yeah, just do double check. I made lines yellow jacket. That is as much torture as I can stand. Yeah, Nick. Um, that's a fun model as well. Um, well, f f uh, for me personally, I, r I really liked it. And I gave away the, the good fold to uh, Donny. I love that fold so much. I mean, to do, yeah, I ordered green or Oregon Meadow, uh, not green, yellow, for another one whenever it arrives. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, that definitely sounds like a plan. Have you seen Daniel's guide on it? The one I made that tutorial of? Have you seen that? If not, check that out. Uh, that will really help you. Make it. Yeah, I need to make sure I can see these creases. Pop this in. See, so this is what I meant by using the pressure of the paper. You pop in the creases. This is why parachute collapsing is OP, for those that know. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's so good. I think I'm, they think I'm going to need to do this when they get extremely small. This is going to be torture. Absolute torture. And yeah, let's extend this one first. There we go. 
What's up your or Instagram? Uh, I use both. You're a looper. Is anyone here talk to me that you designed? Nope. Is it double tissue? I mean, it could be. Could be not. I'm not going to tell you. No, it's going to be harder to see the creases. Um, I'm going to flip this over. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be easier to um, correct and make this much neater. Well, make it much neater. I mean, it's, it's already correct. I'll make it much neater um, when much more of this has collapsed. So that's definitely right. I need to pop this one up more. And then flip this one around. I can make this one. This is a massive one. What sort of paper is it? Uh, welcome Bordeaux. Um, I cannot tell you what paper it is. Have a guess. Have a hazard and guess what it is. Of course, I won't tell you if you're correct or not. It's got a really nice soft texture. Which I think would go really, which would suit this type of model. So yeah, this needs to just fold down, which I need to, which ones I need to extend? The middle one, this one here. I did the wrong one, that's why. Let me make this, which should, I need to change back to a valley fold after this. It should not allow me to better collapse this part. Let's take this off actually. I don't think we need this, maybe. So we're slowly, we're slowly getting somewhere. Um, I have sent through the furnish my funny shaping origami tranche and he received my origami and added me in the group. Awesome, awesome Javid. Um you're making a region 3.5. I'm watching. You you're making one while watching. I'll make the yellow jacket again as soon as I can afford a decent paper. I finished it with tissue foil, but it needs to be thinner. If you can treat single tissue, uh go with that. That's a really good paper. I use I also used uh, double tissue for the the newest one I made a while ago and um, that worked really well as I don't think I've made a video of it but it's on my Instagram if you want to check that out paper thickness is absolutely beautiful for that model so yeah I would, single tissue and double tissue are really good choices I used glassine for the first uh, first attempt on it and also like when you bring these together um it's not entirely straight i mean it's tempting to just do that but you need to turn it it turns so that's gonna be another problem later on what time is it it's nine uh quarter to eight 7.45 p.m. right here. So we have nearly enough to... I'm gonna flip over to the other side to double check. Let me zoom in on this. Oh, 
So that's what we have at the moment. This is slowly come together and it's starting to get easier the more you actually collapse each part. Can you hear crunching in the background? Flipper has entered the room. Welcome, um, Miguel, Joss, hope I pronounced your name correct. I'm terrible at names. <laughs> um, right there, let me see. Can you send me the crease pattern? It is on Brian Chan's Instagram page, Flickr page, Facebook. It's all in the description. If you want to click on that, you'll see. You can download it from there. Preferably his, Inst his Facebook page where you can save the photo and uh, print it, download it, whatever you want to do with it. So go on his Facebook page and download it there. That's what I did and it worked perfectly. Can you speak Spanish? No, I can't. I cannot, I can only speak English, sadly. I'd love to learn another language. I don't think I, I don't think I know any phrases in Spanish. No, wait, it was Penny that entered the room. My bad, I thought it was Looper. It's Penny. Now see, you notice the size of these spikes? Um, so here is number one, here is number two. So there's a, a difference in height. So they get smaller as they go towards the center. And more difficult as well. Yeah, let's go for this one, why not? And I'll be, I'll be much easier to collapse this when I don't have a camera and tripod in my face. Of course, I'm trying to do this and show everyone at the same time. I, I'm so curious to see how this looks. I'm impressed by this already. Yeah, if I can get this one done, this one here should allow me to collapse this part really nicely. Shouldn't be that hard. Oh yeah, that reminds me, I need to upload the, the next shaping challenge. It's going to be a horse. I'll get to that. Welcome Finn. Yeah, so I'll be streaming for just over an hour, so you're 40 minutes late. Yeah, so first of all, let me, I need to make this a mountain fold to make this part easier to collapse. And then I should be able to, if I can get this and this done in that time, I'll be happy. <laughs> oh, I've, I've, uh, I've got a, a, a good horse in mind. Horse sect, that's what I'm going to shape mines like. What I've said from the beginning of these challenges, now I can finally make my dream come true. The horse sect, the first ever horse sect in the world. You will witness it. Forgive me, designer of this horse. But anyway, we have, I believe, number three clapped. Wait, Penny's one out, he's running about. I'll be right back. Okay, 
Okay. So we have this. How, co how cool is that? To think that's going to have all these going all the way down the paper. I'm sort of, have we done this one enough to collapse? Um, let me fold this over and extend this up. I think I have, wait, yeah, I'll need to peg it after this. Where did you find the crease pattern? It's on Brian Chan's Flickr page, uh, Instagram pages and his Facebook, which you can find in the description. Uh, click on one of those and then just download the photo. You can download it from his Facebook page. That's, that's what I did. Easier way to do it. So let's put this one together, peg it. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. Um, I've not fully squished it yet, I'm just double quadruple checking to make sure. Because the more I can get it done the now, the better precision I can get, the easier it will be when these get half the size. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So a good old squish. Let's peg this here. Pardon me. Then we have this. So we've got one, two, three, four, number five. And then again, I think I'll peg it. I'll peg it here again just to hold the pressure. Ah yes, pre-creasing is essential, definitely. Never, never skip pre-creasing. Like a bodybuilder, never skip leg day, never skip pre-creasing. Yeah, it's the, the backbone of folding. It's funny because Brian Chan said in a video where if you make too many pre-creases, it looks like a crumpled newspaper. I completely disagree, I think it's super essential. And that's what I, I've always did. It's funny how minds think differently. Yeah, I need to turn this around, I think. Let me swap hands. Wait, that doesn't make any better. That's further away from the camera and from me. Maybe like this. Maybe if I angle like this. So who's going to make this after watching this stream? How many people are going to put themselves through this completely non-torturous process and rel relatively straightforward, easy, simple model? Who's going to be the first to put their hand up and say, I'm going to make this. Any takers? This is clearly not a complex model. That is very repetitive. Oh, but I've actually got it in one go, I think. So I need to, where's, I need to use. Nice crease. I need, I need to puff this one up. There's a mountain fold right there. There we go, we got it. Um, we need, yeah, this to pop up on this side.
Yeah, I need to flip it around to see this side. It's been blocked by this crease right here. Right, I can't even see where the crease is. Give me a second, everyone. Oh yeah, it's right there. It's, it's already made strong mountain fold. And the tip when you pre-crease as well, whether or not, I've said that a bunch of times, but I'll say it again. Um, when you pre-crease, what I do is then reverse all the creases to make them what they should be. So like, if I make everything a mountain fold on the colour side, I'll flip over and make the valley folds mountain folds on the white. So when I flip over, everything is mountain valley, mountain valley. I don't know if you can see it, but that's exactly what we have here. I'm trying to collapse this. If you were to try collapse this with everything mountain folds, it would be, I mean, it would be actual nightmare. I wouldn't recommend that at all. It wouldn't be fun to do that. Not a single bit. So yeah, we near enough, near enough have this done. I can get rid of that. Uh, get rid of that actually. I'll have a go, but not yet. The <laughs> awesome Nick. I was joking, by the way, that you don't actually need to do it. Um, yeah. I can see how this is going to work and by having the paper crisp enough to spring, the connecting molecules would make it easier, definitely. If the paper was way too soft, then you may not have enough strength. I mean, it would still work, but having paper that is uh, first of all, the right thickness and the right crispness, and which gives a really nice texture. Um, it will really help folding in general for every model. That's why it's quite important to pick the right paper. And also like the hardest decision for me, what paper to use for what model. Oh yeah, I need, I need, I need to push this part right in. do that and then we'll get excess paper sort of maybe I'll use these actually that'll help nah I'll do that wait I did actually help yeah that helped a bit that helped there we go but yeah that's near enough what we're doing uh what we've got so far on the stream um yeah check out Brian's trans Instagram and his Facebook page for the crease pattern. If you if you ever plan to make this or even just to download it and look. Um, Grant, my man, I greatly appreciate your tolerance when your chat is like this. Oh yeah. I mean, you need to be on board with everyone. And just enjoy it. When are you going to sell this paper? Soon, soon, um, I made, I have to do four of these for a lobster and then I'll make a bunch. So in like the next few weeks, hopefully. That's the plan. Yeah, I don't have any of this up for sale yet. If you want, I can show you quite a cool sheet I made for a big massive model. I made four of them. And then, then the four of these size all stick together. Probably bigger than Ryujin, maybe. The sheet that I used then. But yeah, um, yeah, that's the hour. That has been one hour that I had planned to stream. And this is what we have. One, two, three, four, five. Five collapsed. And how many do we have on the crease pattern? I'm, I'm not going to count them all, but... Uh, let's see the doable ones. One, two, three, four, five. 
five per row. One, two, three. Like 14 rows, 13 rows, so there's quite a lot, quite a lot, like 70 of these. And then when you do that, you need to make the sinks, sink them, like if you look at the crease pattern, uh, no, Brian Chan's fold, you'll notice he has, he doesn't have big spikes like this, he'll have sinks. And then that's how you get those edges. Like you open up and then you'll see. In fact, let me try do this one first because I had this pre-creased as a test. So I'd originally planned to collapse each one separately, make the these creases like this. Because it, it seemed easier to do it that way, but when I tried to uh, do it with this one, which was the biggest one, um, yeah, I struggled. So it'll be much easier to do it when I get the base. So this is probably where most of the time will be spent on this model. When I get to this point of folding, I'll, I'll do this one and then I'll and then I'll stop streaming. If I can even do it. But you don't you don't need to be precise with this. Like that. Can you see that? Have to drop the tweezers. So we have, I just need to correct this part. There's going to be a lot more work than I thought. And this is with it pre-creased, um, just this one. The rest won't be, which I'll need to make them all once I get the base. Oops. Yeah, I'm not squishing it until I feel comfortable I've got it all as neat as possible. I mean, it doesn't need to be entirely neat. When you look at that actual Romanesco mod, uh, real life, it's quite unique. I'll go with that. So yeah, if you look at Brian Chan's actual fold, you'll see a bunch of these. And then what I noticed from his bigger molecules on the outside, they tend to have uh, three, three sinks, then most likely two for the middle-ish ones, and then one for the smaller ones, and then none for this, the, the really small. But yeah, the shrink right down as well, and then you'll get that really unique look. So that is it. What is the, the crease pattern for? Yeah, nice work, only 73 to go, definitely. There's, lo there's loads. Um... Uh, what is this CP4 again? Brian Chan's Romanesco. 
uh, Google it, you'll see the picture of his fold. Again, that's the crease pattern. Um, I'm, imagine folding the black part of the crease pattern. Oh God. Look at that. Guys, it's only mountain and valley folds. Only mountain and valley folds. Why are you all so scared? It's coloured as well. Red for mountain, blue for valley folds. Why are you so scared? Look, I mean, it's easy. This part is based off... Where's my... I can't see the tool. There we go. This part is a 4x4 four four grid. Just make the 4x4 four four grid. And then from the halfway mark, down to the bottom left corner, uh, you make a crease. And then where that crease intersects the diagonal is this point right here. And then you repeat that for all of them. And easy, easy peasy, guys, fellow folders. That is how you make the center part. <laughs> I'm joking, you don't. Um, yeah. When will your next unboxing be? Because you got what I sent you. I did, Finn. Um, oh, it's from you? Did you send that one? I've not opened it yet. Oops. But yeah, I'll open it soon. Um, I have a few to as well. One from the Origami Shop US, one from Paper Circle. They've sent out some really cool things for me to show. Um, when I receive it, I'll do that. But yeah, that is it. I'm going to stop the stream now. I did plan to stream for an hour. I just finished my review. You've just finished the 3.5 spring. Amazing. Please show me uh, your finished result. Yeah, I'd be really curious to see that. How did you pre-crease that? Ghost creasing. Uh, Google origami ghost creasing, you'll find my video on how it's made. Oh yeah, it's still live. I thought the stream's frozen or not. I just paused it. Maybe that's why. That's why it stopped. Right, anyway, that is everyone. I will stop the stream right now. Thank you all for watching. Yeah, this is going to, I'm going to, I'm looking forward to getting down and fully collapsing this. But right, everyone, thank you all for watching. I'm going to stop right now.